Hello and welcome. Let's talk about polarity in ground. But first, here is a European and UK power strip for demonstration. As you can see, it's grounded. Here's ground. The ground pin must physically be touching inside. I'll just connect this up. Power is present. Now with that, see how the European version's ground doesn't physically protrude in, whereas the UK adapter version does. So ground shouldn't be present on the AC purifier. As you can see, we both got red LEDs. This means it has no ground to reference polarity. Turn the opposite way and it's the same. Again, no physical connection to the ground on this power strip. Though with the UK adapter it protrudes. And here we go. Polarity is incorrect, but ground is present. Let's do a 180 rotation. And now it's telling us polarity and ground are set up correctly. Let me do this again, but close up. All good here. 180. Polarity incorrect, but ground okay. All good here. Going back to EU only to show no ground. Both are red. And as you can see, no ground, so it can't reference polarity in either orientation. I'll just zoom out. No physical ground is protruding. In this instance, no ground, then the Groundhog Plus won't work since there is no direct path to ground. Add a protruding ground pin. Clarity incorrect. A ground okay 180 connect the 4.4 millimeter attachments so the groundhog plus will work and of course it needs power for it to work since it's an active device Thanks for watching.